the love and the war. Thank you very much. Ladies and gentlemen, let's welcome our MC for this evening, Miss India Magnificent 2013, actress and international celebrity, dancing queen of folk dance, and also a qualified, also holding a qualified master's in finance. Let's put your hands together for Simran Ahuja, all the way from India. Hariyom, global namaste to all the beautiful souls present here. This truly is the very auspicious moment for all of us. Though we experienced the showers of blessings outside, I can say the room full of smiles. Ladies and gentlemen, May I please request you all to kindly put your hands together for our yoga prayer. Guru Brahma, Guru Vishnu, Guru Devo Maheshwara, Guru Sakshat Para Brahma, Tasmai Shri Guru Namaha. Om Shanti, Shanti, Shanti. Wow. When we open our eyes, the humble presence of our divine guru, known as our celebrity yoga guru, with folded hands, we did love to truly thank Ladies and gentlemen, the soulful presence of Dr. Hansa Yogendraji, please. A huge round of applause. And the beautiful, the beautiful difference is that in the divine presence, when we applause and put our hands together, we also have the bright smiles. We have the shine on our forehead. We have the feeling of gratitude. Ladies and gentlemen, on behalf of, of course, our hosts for this evening, I take this wondrous opportunity of thanking you all for being present here. This is the moment, this is the date where our lives shall change forever because it is only because of the gurus that we have the understanding and the learning because we're all spiritual souls going through this human experience. So on that note and on that realization, I'm going to please request you all for a bright smile because this is exactly what we here believe in. Yes, friends, ladies and gentlemen, this is truly a very special moment where Life Management Yoga Center completes 25 beautiful soulful years. And let's give it up for our founders, the lovely lady. When she was born, she was known and she was told that she was the one who was supposed to truly receive mukti. Now this is all by the divine blessings. So I take this opportunity to know both the beautiful souls, the founder and the co-founder. Ladies and gentlemen, a humble thanks to Sangeeta Ji Ahuja and Ramesh Ji Ahuja. And also, of course, the fact that we are all gathered here. We truly need to acknowledge the presence of our sponsors, our associates, for all the love that they have showered and everyone sitting here has showered. So are we ready? Because as I said, this is the moment our lives shall change forever. Towards the beginning, I'm gonna please request you all to kindly have your mobile phones in an inaudible mode. 
because this time, it's time for us to listen to our music within. We have the light in front of us. So please put your mobile phones on the silent mode. Feel free to take your photos and your videos. And do remember to hashtag us. Please, everybody, do hashtag us. L-M-Y-C. Hashtag L-M-Y-C-H-K. These are the two hashtags. We're also live here for our beautiful, soulful yoga guru, Dr. Hansaji. So wherever your loved ones are in the world, please make sure you tell them that we are all live on their page as well as on our page as well of Life Management Yoga Center. So thank you for the bright smiles. The room, of course, is truly the brightest this evening here at Hong Kong. Ladies and gentlemen, we'd like to thank Mrs. Parvesh Shroffji and late Mr. Ruzi Shroffji, who are our sponsors, and they've showered us with tons of love. So we thank you for your love and your blessings. We did also love to convey our gratitude to Mr. Rajesh Bimsaryaji. Please feel free if you feel like applauding. Feel free if you feel like just standing and putting your hands together and celebrating this moment because life is all about celebration. A humble thanks to Mr. Raju Sabnani ji as well because both of them, Rajesh ji and Raju ji, truly have helped us in bringing those smiles to all those faces and at the same time, truly spread this divine light across Hong Kong. A humble thanks and a special acknowledgement to our advisors. There are living legends, Mr. Sohan Goinkaji and Mr. Lal Hardasani ji. Thank you so much, dear sirs. Ladies and gentlemen, in the next few minutes, we shall have the humble presence of Her Excellency, the Consul General of India in Hong Kong. But this is truly the most awaited moment, wow. We all know about our guru. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, she's a spiritual guru. Let me tell you, this is such a blessing to be with her. It's 105 years old institute, the oldest institute in our country, Bharat. Ladies and gentlemen, the Santa Cruz School of Yoga, which has given light to more than 100,000 teachers, students, and as well as more than 100 thousand people have benefited across the world and it's only spreading light. Along with this, ladies and gentlemen, a few words about a very soulful Dr. Hansaji. But before we go ahead, please hold your breath, make sure you sit tall, smile, breathe deep and let's take a look at the audio visual. The oldest institute in the world, ladies and gentlemen, and Dr. Hansaji has also received the beautiful award by our Honorable Prime Minister of India, Sri Narendra Modi ji, for the very special and the very precious acknowledgement and the award for spreading yoga to the world. May we please have the audio visual. Dr. Hansaji Yogendra is a distinguished leader in the world of yoga. A beacon of wisdom and compassion. A global symbol of peace and balanced living. And the director of the Yoga Institute, which is the world's oldest organized center of yoga. She has led the householders yoga movement with a deep commitment to service and well-being of people. This is my dharma to take care of myself and my mind and my life. It has been her life's mission to simplify and spread the teachings of classical yoga to the masses. Over 1 lakh yoga teachers have been trained under her guidance and she has personally conducted over more than 1.5 lakh theoretical and practical yoga sessions. Through her unique approach and teachings, she empowers individuals to harness the transformative potential of yoga, not just as a physical practice, but as a holistic lifestyle encompassing mental, emotional and spiritual dimensions. In a world yearning for mental peace, Dr. Hansaji is a guiding light for many, encouraging them to embark on a journey of self-discovery and leading them to lead a more meaningful life. 
Middle Life Management Yoga Center, LYMC. The Hong Kong branch of the Yoga Institute proudly celebrates 25 years of holistic well-being and growth. Mark your calendars for an unforgettable gathering at Kefong Hall TST, Hong Kong on 11th September 2023 starting from 6 p.m. Come celebrate and connect with Dr. Hansaji Yogendra and gain enlightening wisdom. We love you, Hansaji. Thank you for being our guru and thank you for showing us the path and showing us the way. Every cell of our body is truly thankful to you. Dr. Hansaji, ladies and gentlemen, what a beautiful beginning we had with the sound bar that we had by Betty. And then, of course, our senior yoga teachers, of course, from our own very own institute. But at the same time, to everyone, every yoga teacher and every yoga institute who's joined us here today, I'm going to acknowledge everyone's presence and towards the end for the most awaited moment we're also going to have the photo op with our loving and our very very favorite and the only one ladies and gentlemen dr hansaji so let's begin as they always say it's all about the energy time for us to take a look at the tandav where lord shiva truly is the perfect symbol of yoga and he first it seems taught yoga to his better half parvati ji and then passed on to seven rishis known as the Sapta Rishi. So, everyone, please, are we ready for the Tanda of Lord Shiva? So, aap sab zor se keh sakte hain, mujhe aap ki energy dekhni hain. Aye, hum ye vibration feel karein. Bam, bam, bole! Hum sab ek saath kahenge. One, two, three. Are we ready? Ek, do, teen. Bam, bam, bole! Ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to truly welcome Rufi, who's here to perform the Tandav, choreographed by Hitesh Amarnani. Let's feel the vibration, energy, and absolutely a soulful performance coming your way. Shiveti mantra 
चरण कदा सुखी भवाम्यहम इमं हि नित्वमेव मुक्त मुक्त मोतम अस्वतम पठन स्मरम रोहन नरो विशुद्धमेत संततम हरे गुरौ सुभक्ति माशु यादि नान्य थागतेम विमोहनम हि देहिनाम सुशंकरस्य चिन हर हर शिव शंकर मधु कंठ महिमा दर तीनो लोको के स्वामी मन की हर दशा को आप जानते हो शिव शिव दाता सर्व ज्ञानी Let's give them a huge round of applause, ladies and gentlemen. Rufi and Hitesh Amarnani. Wow. Also known as Adi Guru and Yogeshwar was Lord Shiva. It's all about the divine energy. Everything that he was just a symbol of perfection. Asana, prana, contemplation, meditation. That was towards the beginning the Tandav. And moving ahead, friends, at our beautiful Santa Cruz School of Yoga, we always have satsangs on Sunday mornings from 9.30 a.m. to 10.30 a.m., which is the way of life and how can we inculcate and be the best version of ourselves. This was always my favorite part. In the same time, let me tell you, this is absolutely amazing because this is truly a lovely teaching. Feel free to have your photos done, your videos done. Of course, the phone on the silent mode and do send it to all your loved ones because the celebration of 25 years of truly continuing yoga with all her soul by Sangeeta Ji and Ramesh Ji must spread to the world simply because it is with our soulful guru, Dr. Hansaji. Moving ahead, we have Happiness Unlimited skit coming your way. Is there anyone in the room who really wants to experience Happiness Unlimited? Please raise your hand. Okay. Don't we want to experience happiness? Or maybe you're already super happy souls. So I'm going to come and learn from you as well. Thank you. That sounds really interesting. So let's truly really enjoy this very beautiful skit. But before that, the lovely performance we had of Rufi for the Tantav is the perfect example of our G20. Well, friends, ladies and gentlemen, that is exactly what we believe in, that the world is one. We all come together and truly believe in giving and imparting the rich heritage to the world, the spirituality to the world. Vasudeva Kutumbakam. As we always know, that was just the perfect example where we all come together and become one. And of course, at our institute, for the past 25 years, we have people of all origins from across the world who are here with us. Ladies and gentlemen, a huge round of applause for Her Excellency, the Consul General of India in Hong Kong. We are truly thankful to you, our lovely ladies and gentlemen. What a beautiful feeling to have your humble presence, Your Excellency, ma'am. Thank you so much. Ma'am, you made this evening truly golden by having and giving us your lovely presence. What a beautiful moment for us. Thank you, Ramesh Ji, for accompanying Your Excellency, Ma'am, here. So, ladies and gentlemen, and of course, the belief that since the past two years, our Honorable Prime Minister of India, Sri Narendra Modi Ji, has spread Azadi Ka Amrit Mahotsav. So, right since the past two years, the 75th year of Indian independence to the 77th year, that is this year, we celebrated Azadi Ka Amrit Mahotsav. And this is also the beginning of Amrit Kal. And our very own institute, Life Management Yoga Center, is taking this ahead by bringing the world together and celebrating and truly imparting and giving the world happiness unlimited. Well, friends, it's the beginning of Amrit Kal, which shall go on to the year 2047, which will be the completion of 100 years. So are we ready? Please smile. And for Happiness Unlimited, Talia Zordar Ho Jai, Happiness Unlimited ke liye. Let's welcome Paresh Neyadhi, the producer, director, and the script writer. Let's experience this. Laugh, smile, and love ourselves. Happiness Unlimited. <laughs> Namaskar. 
Hello and welcome to this beautiful evening. What all? What are we here for? Today, of course, we are here to listen to our beloved and respected Hansa Ji. But I'm not just saying for today. In general, what are we here for? What do we seek in life? What do we really want? I'm sure the answer to this question differs for every person sitting over here. Each one of us wants something different in life. Someone wants a bigger car, maybe a bigger house. Someone wants a nice meal. Someone may want to just spend time with their friends or just by themselves. But what are we going to achieve if we get these things that we are desiring for? Ask this question to yourself a couple of times and as the layers open, you'll realize that the core of everything, at the root of everything is happiness. Isn't happiness the actual thing that we all are always seeking? We're doing a job, we have a meal, we meet our friends in order to do, get some happiness. But all these sources of happiness gives us some momentary happiness and moments of joy. How do we get lasting happiness, eternal happiness, unlimited happiness? Does anybody know a recipe for that? Well, neither do I. But let's go on a journey together and explore a few of the ingredients which will be useful to make this beautiful recipe of happiness. Just like any recipe goes, even if we know the ingredients, what is the key to balance those ingredients, right? We can't have food without salt, but can we have that with a lot of it? No. A perfect balance is what is required. That balance varies from uh, in different aspects, be it work-life balance, marital life balance, social life balance. But these are all a little external factors. For today, let's go on a journey a little inwards. How about experiencing and trying to balance our emotions? Let's say this color white represents lasting and eternal happiness. Do you know how the color white is made, right? By seven distinct colors of the rainbow. Seven unique colors, violet, indigo, blue, green, yellow, orange, red. Seven colors having their distinct, unique, independent identity. But when blended together in a perfect balance, they form a peaceful color, white. Let's use these colors symbolically to represent the emotions that we face in our lives on a day-to-day basis. Let's say red represents passion, but with some anger. Orange is optimistic, hopeful. Yellow is mischievous and joyful. Green is envy, jealousy. Blue is like sad, like feeling blue, a little dull, pessimistic. Indigo represents being scared, being a little in insecure. And violet representing calmness. I hope all of you are excited to go on this journey with me. Let's explore and relate to these emotions that we face in our day-to-day -day lives. Let the journey begin. Hey Rudra, listen, we agreed on this menu by the, I think we should add one more dessert item or maybe a raw mango salad. No Ranbir, no. Let's just focus on what we've agreed on. Enough here. Let's not change anything now. It's a special day and everything needs to be perfect. I know, I know. Today Hansa ji is visiting us, na, right? Correct. Along with the Council General of India, Satwanji, and various other dignitaries. As I said before, everything needs to be perfect. Vinod, focus. You know what, Ranbir, why don't you start with the salads and the starters? I will begin on the dessert so that it has time to set properly. Vinod, pass me the sugar. <laughs> sugar, Vinod, sugar. Did you not just hear? I'm making a dessert. Please give me exactly what I've asked for. Understood? For the last three months, this guy has been annoying me. Today, he's going to get it from me. Vinod, if you irritate me one more time today, you're out of this kitchen. Understood? Chodare Rudra. Vinod, focus. Ranbir, what are you doing? Can you please cut your pieces evenly? And also, please pay attention to the alignment. Everything needs to be perfectly aligned. Understood? 
Yes, yes, yes. I, I, I will do it. Vinod, can you pass me the lemon juice? Beta, lemon juice. Lemon, lemon? Not vinegar? Okay, thank you. Okay, so the desert is almost done. What next? You know what? Let's start on the main course. Vinod, I had asked you to prepare some onions for me. Are they ready? Finely chopped onions, Vinod. Finely chopped onions. Don't you understand? Hey, guys, relax. Yeah, relax, relax. Those ones, we have those. Here, here. And why didn't you give them to me before? Sir, you asked for onions, so I gave you onions. You asked for finely chopped, so I gave you finely chopped. You only said, nah, please pass me exactly what I asked for. This guy, he is irritating. Vinod, yeah, control your mischief. Otherwise, ask to Rudra. By the way, you also need to focus. <laughs> aram se, aram se, relax, relax. Relax, Vinod, relax. Vinod, see, control your masti. See, today is a very big day, and we have to do our best. There's no point explaining to this duffer. He's of no use, I tell you. Hey, Rudriya, that looks awesome. I think your passion for perfection is amazing, man. But I feel that your anger adds some more flavor to your cooking. <laughs> Ranveer, you will pull my leg as well now. Sir, sir, how's this? Wow, looks great. Neatly done. <laughs> looks okay. But are you sure you haven't mixed the ingredients together? Ranveer, why don't you taste? Sir, sir, I've actually named this dish after you. Really? Rudra ke angare. You, I'm not... Okay, 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 okay. okay. Enough of you guys. See, we are all done for the day. Let's gather all the menu item for a final check. Hmm. That paneer looks amazing. And the other dishes too. But you know what? The plating could have been a lot better. Oh, enough, Rudra, enough. I think Hansaji and Satvanji are going to love this menu. Are 100%? It's going to be finger licking good. You? <laughs> These guys. Guys, focus. <laughs> That indeed does look like a lovely menu, right? But in order to get a master dish like this, we again have to balance everything. Anger, when channelized properly, can be used to achieve perfection with a lot of passion. Calmness and composure is important, but we shouldn't be neglecting the alignments and, uh, while doing that. Mischievousness, of course, adds a lot of flavor and joy to life. But when we go overboard with it, we tend to lose focus. But when all these emotions are balanced well together, we can create a master dish like this. Again, like I said, you know, the balance to get the color white. If we get a little more anger, a little more red, this may turn pinkish. A little more mischief may make it off-white. We are aiming towards white. Let's continue the journey and experience a few more emotions. Shania? Oh my God! Look at you, my darling. You are dazzling. Oh, really? Mm. I wasn't sure. But look who's talking. You look amazing. Hannah, you know, I had to take out time today. Last Saturday, it was so rushed. I only had three hours to get ready. I didn't even have time to set up my hair properly. So, today, I told my family, look, do not disturb me for next five to six hours, okay? Oh ho, no wonder. I was still getting so nervous. I didn't know if this color suits me. I hope I'm not looking odd. Odd? Babes, you look fabulous. Did you see Madhuji and her set of rubies? Look so great on her. Oh, theek hai, good. But this is nothing. Ye to kuch bhi nahi hai. In front of the emeralds that I'm wearing, you see. Oh, yeah. These are indeed pretty. 
Where did you get these from? Oh, these are the Colombian emeralds. You know, last year I told Vikram, see, if you cannot get something so expensive for an anniversary, then no more mm, dating shading for next three months. Shania, do we now? I took and never ask for something like this. Mm -hmm. But looks, Vikram really wanted it, huh? For you to be happy. <laughs> yes. Uh, by the way, babes, look there. Look at Mr. Heja. He's looking so dashing. Yeah. Mm. He also got Porsche 911. Anita was bragging all about it. I was the feeling as if she's taunting me and my BMW. No. This is nothing. Ye to kuch bhi nahi hai. My cousin Anshuman, he got a Bugatti. Do you know how much does it cost? Anita can't even think about it. Ye to kuch bhi nahi hai. Yeah. But at times I feel sad for Anita too. Her daughter Neha, ah. she just doesn't listen to her. She wanted to get to these universities but could not. So she's really sad these days. Oh, really? I remember she wanted to go to um, USA, Canada. Hana, mm. poor girl. She really worked hard but could not get. <sighs> Anita was saying that she's really depressed and kind of isolated herself for a few days. They're planning to send her for therapy or that life management yoga center's self-development program. Oh, acha, that will definitely help her. And babes, you don't worry, she'll be fine soon. By the way, ye depression wagera kya hai? Ye to kuch bhi nahi hai. Remember our neighbor, Mr. Verma, his son, he tried to run away from the house. For that matter, even Hong Kong. But ye to kuch bhi nahi hai, depression and all. Sanaya, to impossible hai. Everything is easy for you. By the way, someone's getting really torn, huh? Hena, I have been working so hard, babes. I told you, right? I have joined that fitness class. Oh, yeah, you had told me. I wanted to join too, Ray. But I don't know if I can do it. I'm so unfit. I don't know anything about workouts. Are yaar, aaja. But do you remember the last Diwali? Wo Rashmi? Kitna matak rahi thi. I have lost so much weight. I have dropped three sizes and all. My foot. But did Rashmi inspire you to get fit? Inspire wagera kuch nahi. But ha, I did not like it when everyone was talking only about her. So I thought I have to do something. You know, I haven't missed a single session for past six months. And not even had my favorite ice cream. Oh, mm. it shows my dear, it shows. You look amazing. Mwah. Oh, you are a darling, Sonia. Look at those three. I'm sure they're gossiping about something. I can tell it from their faces. 100%. That is what all they do. Kisi ne kya diamonds liye, kisi ne kaun si car liye, who bought which diamonds, who bought which car. That's what they all talk about. Ha huh. na, that's so bad, yaar. Mm. Oh, look, Ruchi is there. Let's go check out what she's wearing. Chal, chal, let's go, let's go, let's go. <laughs> That was dazzling indeed. How is life, right? Sometimes we feel scared and insecure, and at times we get envious and jealous. We keep validating our feelings by feeling scared that we are protecting our loved ones or we are protecting ourselves. But we go overboard with it and we tend to miss out on living some beautiful moments in life. Jealousy, envy, if channelized properly, we can use as a healthy competition to improve ourselves, to improve and upgrade lives of others around us. Instead of just saying, Ye to kuch bhi nahi hai, it's nothing for others. Let's continue this journey and explore a few more emotions. Chanda mama so gay, suraj cha chu cha gay, dekho pakado yaro, ghadi ke kaate bhaage.
Rohit? Rohit Bijlani? N Natasha, oh my God, how are you? Wow, I haven't seen you since graduation. What are you up to? Nothing much, just got busy with a few things. Really? What's going on today? Nothing special. It's a job, hai, but boring. Sa. Oh, okay, okay. But you're totally gayab. Ho. Are you even in touch with anyone of us? Yeah, but I rarely meet anyone. Actually, I lost my dad due to COVID. You know, I was very close to him. I'm sorry to hear that. Also, I had to take over his business, and that didn't work out well either. I struggled with it for a couple of years, and eventually had to close it down. I was I was jobless for a few months, so had to take this this faltu job just to pay the bills. Sorry. Yeah, li life has been sad, but I just feel frustrated at times. Don't worry, yar. I'm sure you must have tried your best. Come on now, cheer up. Yeah, but I'm glad I bumped into you. Well, what's up with you? You look great. Really? Thanks. I was just heading towards an orphanage to donate these clothes. Oh, that's, that's great. Actually, my mom, she used to do a lot of charity, visit old age homes and orphanages quite regularly. To spend time with them, acha lagta tha hone. But after she moved to UK to take care of my brother's health, I realized that I should take up her task and start volunteering. You know, to continue her legacy, I realized the values that she taught me are really important. Wow, that's, that's amazing. You're just so positive. <laughs> Nothing like that. Just trying my bit. Life is a lot harder for others in society. And we should try to help in whichever way we can. That's, that's inspiring. <laughs> By the way, do you remember Vihan? He was a year senior to us. Vihan. Oh yeah, that huge fellow. <laughs> He's not that huge anymore. His lifestyle attitude has completely changed. And he's so motivated that he has become a yoga instructor, just like me. J just like you? Weren't you working at the big bank after graduation? Yeah, I was, but then I was laid off. Uh, while I was searching for a job, I started practicing yoga. And then I realized that Life Management Show Yoga Center has a teacher training program. I joined it and it changed my life completely. I'm not just practicing, I'm teaching yoga. And it's all growing great. I feel that I have the courage to be self-reliant now. Wow, that's, that's amazing. You just, you never gave up. You found a way to handle all situations in life. Well, we all are learning, right? Why don't you come for the trial class? You will like it. Uh, I'll try. In fact, you can come on one of the Saturdays for the World of Smile event. We practice Viha Yoga. And in fact, you can share your guitar talent. You will completely love it. If you insist, I'll definitely join. And you know what? I met Vihan again at the yoga center. Mm -hmm. He was there for the teacher training program. And we kind of connected well and started liking each other. And we got engaged last week. Oh my god, that's so cool. Congratulations. I'm so glad I ran into you today. We have a small engagement party with our friends. You have to come. I will message you all the details. You know what? I'm also so happy to see you. I'll definitely be there. See ya. How optimistic she is. I need to change my view towards life. He's so sweet, so connected to his dad. That reminds me, I should call my dad. Haven't spoken to him for a long time. Hello. Hello, Papa. You see, a simple, healthy morning routine can have a, help us have such a different perspective towards life, can help us see life in much more positive way. We feel connected to our loved ones, our job, our profession, to so many things. We feel connected. But when that connection is stretched a little, turns into an attachment and can become the root cause for our sadness. Being optimistic, happy-go-lucky and hopeful is very important in life. It helps us sail through so many situations in life like a loss of a loved one, loss of a job or anything for that matter. But while doing that, we shouldn't be taking our blessings and our relationships for granted. Staying connected is important too. Again, as I was saying, balancing each and every emotion is such an important factor for this. We have witnessed an array of emotions today, right from anger to calmness, from mischievousness 
to sadness, to envy, to insecurity. Are any of these emotions new to us? No. I'm sure each one of you have experienced each of these emotions as well at some point or the other in your life. Some may have handled it well, some may have got carried away with it. If we learn to balance these emotions better, our life will be much, much more happier. None of us are devoid of these emotions, right? Not just humans, even God. Lord Shiva channelizes his anger in his Rudra avatar via Tandav. He's found a way to do that. Shouldn't we learn that as well? How do we learn to balance these emotions? In order to balance or understand anything, we first have to accept them. We have to acknowledge them. We have to witness those emotions, not suppress them, not express them, but just witness them. Not live in a denial and shun them away or not get carried away in the flow of it. Understand them, nurture them. We have learned to categorize few of the emotions in a negative way and few of them in a positive way. If we think properly, we'll see that the negative emotions are usually sourced from a lack of something. When we learn to balance, when we learn to understand these emotions, we'll realize that we are heading towards the white light, towards lasting happiness, and that comes from the source of white light, from the source of awareness, from the source of infinite energy. Balancing this is an act. Each one of you will find a different way to do that. Some of us, by meditating. Few like to spend time with their friends to balance their emotions. A lot of them have found a way to balance their emotions by practicing yoga channelizing their emotions and expressing them by Vihar Yoga. So to each one of you, it differs. How much to balance, which emotion to balance is very individual choice. So you have to take a journey inwards and understand what works for you and what doesn't work for you. While experiencing these emotions, like I said earlier, it's a balance and we have represent white, the color of happiness. As I was mentioning, White is made from seven distinct, unique colors. Violet, indigo, blue, green, yellow, orange, and red. But when all these seven colors, all these seven different emotions are blended in perfect harmony, we form the color white, the color of eternal happiness, the color of unlimited happiness. said and what a divine feeling ladies and gentlemen this is the magic this is the miracle we experience with you in the humble presence of our very own celebrity yoga guru we lovingly call her dr hansaji so happiness ke saath saath do zordar taaliyan hamari lovely honorable chief guest hamari guru ke liye for those who are seated behind, I know sometimes we get back to our thinking and that's a beautiful feeling because as they always say, self-realization before God-realization. But whoever is sitting behind, I know we have the gadgets in our hands, we have the mobile phones, we all are living in this beautiful world of social media and we are not to be blamed if we can't put our hands together. So, yoga pehle kehta tha, taaliyon se hume faida hota hai, lekin aaj kal hum different way mein celebrate karte hain. Kaise karte hain? Wow, woo, yay. And you can really scream and cheer and celebrate this very amazing moment. Show us your happiness personification. Come on, everyone. Can we hear some great sounds? Woo! Oh, I love that. The room is vibrating with that positivity. As I said, tonight and this beautiful evening, your lives will change forever. It gives me great pleasure Friends, as we always have been truly associated, most of us, to our beautiful, loving institute, which is since the past 25 years. But let me tell you a little bit about the founder. When Sankita Ji 
thought about this institute, she had no idea she's going to come this far. At the same time, this evening, also her three wishes will be fulfilled, really. So wait for that. There are some surprises and some nice announcements we're going to make in a while from now. But for now, well, it's always about the teachings, the guru who shows us the path. And what a beautiful feeling to have a lovely lady here with us, ladies and gentlemen. With this happiness personification, I'm going to please request you all to please continue the applause for our very own Her Excellency, the Consul General of India and Hong Kong, Ms. Satwant Khanalia Ji. Zordar Taliya ho jain ke liye. Thank you, ma'am. Please wait. Please wait. Please wait. One minute. We just want a roar of applause for you. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you. And ladies and gentlemen, they always say that the path comes to you. You take one step and through the divine, hundred steps come to you. And this is exactly what happened 25 years back, 1998, when Sankita Ji started the beautiful Life Management Yoga Center. The men said, why are we left out? What about we men? And that is how our very own co-founder, Ramesh Ji Ahuja, came in the picture. Unke bhi taliya ho. And before we invite him here, ladies and gentlemen, let us take a look at the beauteous journey of 25 years. 25 years of giving, of celebrating love. 25 years of peace, harmony and happiness. Let's take a look at our wondrous 25 years journey of our very own. Hashtag LMYC. Hashtag LMYC HK. Do we know how many breaths we take in a minute? Are you aware how our nadis work? How our energy centers work? How I may learn to tranquilize my mind using various mudras? What are pancha mahabhutas and pancha koshas? how practicing yoga may help resolve our health issues? Or have we any idea what causes our unhappiness, our sour relationships, our emotional outbursts, our irrational behaviors? These are just a few questions. The biggest question is, is it not all about us, about our lives? Beyond asanas, yoga is in fact a complete manual to understand how our body-mind complex works. Its benefits are enormous. Yoga can reduce our anxieties and depressions, crime rates, and even suicides. For the beginner, yoga is the science of life management. At the next level, the dualities and sufferings of the mind can be removed and at the higher level, for the evolved, it is continuous effort towards soul emancipation. Whatever our goal, happiness, health, or success, yoga is by our side. Then why not to try and dig deeper, to know ourselves, to know how we function, and to know the purpose of our being human here in this world, the question we try to ignore. Now, let me introduce you to our center. In 1998, Sangeeta Ahuja did her teacher's training under the masters, Dr. Jaidev and Dr. Hansa G. Yojendra at the Institute and started sharing her knowledge with a handful of lady friends at her residence first. Her husband, Ramesh, followed in the year 2000. Thus, the Life Management Yoga Center non-commercial life school, now in its 25th year, is offshoot. And the first overseas branch of the Yoga Institute in the city of Hong Kong, Sri Yogendraji established the first organized yoga and research institute in the world. Now in its 104th year, the institute, known as the Yoga Institute, located in the bustling city of Mumbai, teaching yoga for householders. His son, the late Dr. J. Deva, along with his wife, Dr. Hansa G., now the director of the Yoga Institute, introduced specialized techniques and attitudes training called PAWAS. 
from ancient text to overcome the restlessness of the mind and detox the psyche, which leads to mindful and balanced living. The Yoga Institute has received the Prime Minister's Award and Dr. Hansa G currently chairs the Indian Yoga Association, the central yoga body of India. Following the tradition, as the name goes, Life Management Yoga Center is committed to teach yoga for complete life management beyond asanas. It offers teachers training courses, TTC, with the latest syllabus of the Yoga Institute, recognized by Ayush Ministry, Government of India and Yoga Alliance, USA. The teacher's training courses, which includes public speaking, is a masterpiece encompassing all physical, mental, emotional, social, and spiritual aspects of life, resulting into holistic growth, reducing anger and negative emotions, helping to be creative in handling situations, empowering to be confident and caring, not just in leading the yoga classes, but by being responsible and useful individuals, benefiting society at large. This training, which is unfortunately not available in our academic schools and universities. LMYC also offers these courses with Chinese translation. It is not just the talk. We invite you all to join and experience what we said. While celebrating our 25th year from April 2022, we have decided to offer many online activities totally free of charge. One, free upgrade from basic to 500 hours advanced teachers training under self-social care initiative. Two, yoga education series, including Wise You, Smile, and Be Free workshops. Three, launch of Global Yoga Fans Platform, where inspiring yogis share their mystery and stories. Four, counseling service to the community based on yoga and chakra psychology. Five, 25 yoga classes for kids, teens, adults, seniors, and many more to be announced. Be part of LMYC and realize your potentials. Be positive and peaceful. Thank you and namaste. Global namaste. Beautiful souls. Along with this, we're also looking forward to training 25 volunteers who are willing to serve. Imagine two and a half decade of only serving, of only giving. What a beautiful feeling. And for the inauguration as well, 25 years back, well, it was inaugurated by Sangeeta Ji's guru herself. Dr. Hansaji, what a beautiful divine feeling. And of course, with their blessings, this is where it has reached. And I said, lots of ras fash hone ja rahe hain. So without any further ado, as I said, this is how Ramesh Ji also became a part, the co-founder of our very own Life Management Yoga Center. Ladies and gentlemen, it gives me great pleasure in welcoming him here on stage. Let's give it up for Ramesh Ji Ahuja and request him to officially welcome everyone on behalf of your institute. We are truly, truly proud, and more than that, blessed and humbled to truly be associated with such a brilliant giving organization. But it is all by the blessings of Dr. Hansaji. Thank you so much. Thank you, sir. Yoga Guru Hansama, Honorable Council General Satwan Kanalia Ji, Representative of our sponsor, the title sponsor, Mrs. Ranu Vasan, all supporting organizations, yoga centers, individuals, all of you, and some of you who are watching us live on YouTube. Welcome today. Life Management Yoga Center welcomes you all and 
one thing that I am today very much jealous, jealous of my wife, uh, Sangeeta. Why? Because I see there are too many ladies here, no men coming to learn yoga. You go in any of the yoga center, it will be full of ladies. So I had to try, I had to do something, you know. What should I do? Men tell me that we walk 10,000 steps. So why should we do yoga? But 10,000 steps are on mind level, the body level only. We have to do something on the mind level. They say that yoga is very slow, but it is slow for a purpose. They say that yoga is very difficult. It is difficult because we are trying to compete with the acrobats. It is very simple, very easy to do if we follow simple methods. Our Dr. Jaydev, he was always telling us that why to do difficult asanas when the simple asanas have same benefits. So let us try something. I want that each and every one of you to join me and try to see the difference between the no normal exercises and the asanas. In the exercise, what we do, hands up. Can, we, can you all please join me, please? Thank you. Hands up, down, hands up, down, hands up, down, up, down, up, hold, down, and try to see your breathing. Now, you see the difference between asana and exercise. When we do the asana, we do the same thing, but we go very slow. Slowly, bring your hand up, breathing in. Keep breathing up, breathing in. Go up, go to the highest, hold the breath, and breathing out, come down. Again, we try. You have to try to see your breathing, how you are breathing in and how your lungs are expanding. Slowly breathing in, go up, keep breathing in. Extremes. Lung capacity is increasing this way and it slowly come down. Now when we are exercising, our lungs are moving like this. But when we are doing asanas, our lungs are moving slowly, expanding up to the end. When we come, come back, we go up to the emptying out of our uh, uh, the lungs. So in that way, our lung capacity increases and our uh, the lungs they get flexible. Now, we normal people, they breathe in 14 to 18 times per minute. But if you are breathing less than that, it means you will live longer. Now, let me tell you some more logic for the main. Hong Kong is the financial center and all the financial markets, they are based on two uh, emotions of life. Those two emotions are fear and greed. So we have to control them. We are not robots that we will be able to control just like that. So we, the yoga is on our side, which can help us to control our emotions. Then let us see more difference between 
the yoga and to make it a uh, yoga asana yoga asana is a way we are completely absorbed into doing the asana so our mind is also involved so now we bring up the hand when we are bringing up the hand our we must close our eyes and uh, focus on our hand going up so our mind should be totally involved in doing the asana and absorbed in in our uh, uh, the mo uh, the movements so when we are moving up slowly close your eyes move up and your full attention on the hand full attention on the hand hold it slowly breathing out come down but don't lose your gaze on your hand so this becomes uh, the our body and mind they are getting involved together further even we can go further what you saw now that our institute in in, in india when they started they had introduced four bhavas they uh, divided all the asanas into four parts and uh, uh, they uh, th with any of the uh, dance or any of the singing is incomplete if we do not uh, uh, give into it our emotion or our feelings without feelings uh, any dance is is not looking good right so even in the asanas we do the same so we when we go up we not only breathe in not only have attention into it but also put a feeling into it that we are uh, this uh, there are the four bhavas which are one of them is a uh, uh, what you call uh, dharma gyan vairagya and aishwarya so i will not go more in detail into those but one thing only i am telling you that whenever we are doing forward bending asana in that case we should have a feeling of surrender surrender to the will of the lord so that's why that's how you are able to see the difference between our normal exercises and asanas i thank you all for coming here and thank you i may i invite now our cg to say something thank you ladies and gentlemen please continue the applauses as we have the privilege and the honor to welcome her excellency consul general of india in new york miss satwant khanaliya ji please humble thanks to you dear ma'am dear dr hansa ji mrs sangeeta and mr ramesh ahuja the founders of life management yoga center members of the indian community in hong kong ladies and gentlemen namaskar and a very good evening to all of you i'm truly delighted to join you all today for listening to this talk by dr hansa ji when sangeeta ji had mentioned to me that uh, dr hansa ji would be coming to hong kong uh, believe me i was as excited as all of you to be here today Uh, so thank you uh, very much dr hansa ji for coming to hong kong and uh, gracing us with your presence thank you i must confess further that i follow uh, dr hansa ji on youtube like most people and watch her videos with great interest and i'm always struck by the very practical advice that she gives be it on good habits uh, when you wake up in the morning what are the five things that you should do uh, the first thing that you wake up in the morning or how to align your daily routine to the natural ayurvedic cycles in a day of vat pit and kapha her tips on ayurvedic nutrition and other related topics are also simple to understand and follow and can make a very significant positive impact on our holistic health and well being as you are aware every year we celebrate ayurveda day and this year we are going to celebrate it on 11 november 
So I urge everyone present to raise awareness about the holistic health benefits of Ayurveda and incorporate it in our daily lives. The wise guidance of Dr. Hansaji is all the more necessary today as we have become beholden to the technologies that were supposed to make our lives easier. As the master of ceremonies was just mentioning that even in the audience, sometimes we are so occupied with taking photos with our smartphones that we do not uh, take the moment to you know, be present in the moment and cherish that. Uh, so this is a sign of the times. You know, we seem to have become uh, a slave to our smartphones and our devices. And it is therefore important to remind ourselves that sometimes simple living and high thinking is the solution for a lot of the issues that we face. As it is said, how you think, so you shall act. As you act, so will be your habits. As your habits, so will be your character. And your character will finally define your destiny. So ladies and gentlemen, whether your objective is good health or happiness or success, I urge you all to listen very attentively to Dr. Hansa Ji today, as I will too. Thank you, Jai Hind. Thank you very much, ma'am. I'm gonna request you, Your Excellency, ma'am, please come here with us at the center. Thank you very much for your words of wisdom, dear ma'am, ladies and gentlemen. I'm going to please request from our own family, Ashish Ahuja, to kindly accompany Ranu Ji here on stage. She's here representing our main sponsors. We are truly thankful to you, Ranu Vasanji. Thank you for being here with us, ladies and gentlemen. We'd also like to take the opportunity of thanking Mrs. Parvesh Shroff and late Mr. Ruzi Shroff. Thank you so much, Ranu Ji, for joining us here. Thank you, Ashish, for doing this. And now for the most awaited moment, I know we've been eagerly waiting to listen to our very own guru here. So ladies and gentlemen, it gives me great pleasure as I'm gonna please request you all for this very precious moment, the loudest celebration here in the entire Hong Kong. Let's put our hands together for Dr. Hansa Ji. And I'm gonna please request Sangeeta Ji and Ramesh Ji to kindly accompany our honorable chief guest, ladies and gentlemen, and who are we to even call out her name or speak a few words about her? Not just 10 books, 100 books could be penned down on this beautiful, our lovely guru, our lovely lady, she's a complete woman of substance, has been training more than a thousand, absolutely one lakh teachers, and besides that, she has more than one and a half lakh videos. Ladies and gentlemen, not only that, the kind of workshops that she's been taking every day and night, every breath of her life, and the entire Santa Cruz Institute of Yoga is being dedicated to one and all. A huge roar of applause, ladies and gentlemen. I'm, I'm gonna use this word, diva, because we are whatever you are. So such a huge honor. Please, ma'am, in the center. Please, sir, Ajay. Ladies and gentlemen, it's time for us to felicitate our Honorable Chief Guest. I'm going to please request Your Excellency, ma'am, to kindly present the lovely bouquet to Hansaji, please. Come on, ladies and gentlemen. And now I'm going to request Sangeeta Ji for this beautiful moment. And this is just a beautiful moment when a disciple gets the opportunity to be with her Guruma. May I please request you all to kindly rise, only if it's comfortable for you, to kindly rise and cheer and celebrate this very amazing moment for Dr. Hansaji. Requesting Ramesa to kindly present the bouquet and Sangeeta Ji to kindly present our very authentic way of presenting the shawl to Your Excellency, ma'am. Thank you so much. Ramesh Ji to kindly present the bouquet to Ranu Ji. And we truly thank our main sponsors for this evening, Mrs. Parvey Shroff and late Mr. Ruzi Shroff and Ranu Vasanji who's joined us here. Thank you, Sangeeta Ji. They say it's always, please take your seats, ladies and gentlemen. They say it's always important to spread the authentic and the classic yoga to the world. And this is the moment, and that's the reason I requested you all that your lives will change forever. Please mark this date and the time in your calendar. So are we ready? This is truly the precious moments. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to please tell you a little bit about the Miss Pand app, ladies and gentlemen. Of course, she's the director of Santa Cruz School of Yoga. And besides this, also our Indian Yoga Association president, Dr. Hansaji, and also the co-founder of Nisbant app, where you have solutions to every single challenge you face in your life. So I'm going to truly thank Your Excellency, ma'am, Sangeeta Ji. Thank you for giving me this opportunity. Aaj main jo hoon, 
सिर्फ और सिर्फ हंसा मैम के लिए हूँ क्योंकि जहाँ पर भी हम रहते थे ना शी से मेक इट फंक्शनल सो वी स्टैंड एनी मैन वी स्टैंड ऑन वन फुट एंड शी यूज टू आई स्टार्ट इट होस्टिंग द सत्संग वेन आई वॉज इन कॉलेज एट योगा इंस्टीट्यूट और आज मैं जो हूँ संगीता जी आपने मुझे ये मौका दिया humble thanks you with folded hands so thank you so much your excellency i'm going to request sangeeta ji and ramesh ji and my lovely team to kindly present get a lovely chair for ma'am please this is truly the moment ladies and gentlemen jab hame guru ka gyan milta hai they say birds together are benefited it is only after 8400000 birds that hame manushya jan milta hai so aaiye apne is janam ko safal kare with our classic yoga with our authentic yoga and the true way of life time for us to feel the light within us by the beautiful words of our dr hansa ji ladies and gentlemen feel free to have your questions in your mind you might be the lucky one to ask your question from hansa ji or else i do have an option for you as well bahut sare raaz baad mein fash karenge bahut bahut shukriya aap sab ke tahe dil se shukr guzar hain shukriya It's working. Okay, all can hear me. Very fine. Okay. I don't know now what to talk. I'm very glad to meet you all. पहले तो नमस्ते to you all. Namaste to all of you. I'm very glad to be here at Hong Kong. यहाँ आप लोगों के साथ में It's lovely to be. I can see ये सारे जो शोस किए कितनी sincerity. It was really done very well, very well. So now today I've been given this topic, decoding mind for greater joy and happiness. Now whenever in yoga we talk about mind, we should know that entire yoga. is for mind only we do asanas to train our mind we do pranayams to train our mind we have to understand that human mind is what to pehle to ye samajh le ke what is this human mind yogis say that our mind has two things one intellect that is the capacity to think reasoning out analyzing scientifically putting things across that is one capacity which we all have and second what we have in our mind is our emotions when we are asked where is your mind this is our brain brain is like an organ like eyes or ears or nose or everything mind is everywhere in our body every cell every cell has its own intelligence so mind is everywhere in yoga we say mind is a coordinator i want to see something my mind has to go there to my eye then i will be able to see properly if mind is somewhere and eyes are open i won't see anything much i am sure all of you have experienced this so this human mind yogi say that it needs training because it is highly developed mind we are not like animals animals are very simple they function instinctively bhook lagi they are hungry then they think of food till then they don't think of food and we humans what we are we think of food all the time abhi sabere khaya what we do i eat in the evening animals are simple thirsty then they go in near water and drink that's animal life humans are highly developed and so highly complicated human mind needs training and yogis have found out how to go about yogis have gone into detail of human psychology the purpose of life philosophy and the technology technology is 
very popular. Asas, pranayams, meditations, kriyas, bandhas, mudras, all these are yogic technologies, which are very popular. People go on doing these asanas and pranayam and go on making it more difficult and difficult, which is not required. What is required is, as Ramesha who just said, what is required is to see that the mind helps us to become focused. And with that focused mind, when we start educating ourselves, do something with ourselves or do any work, then that mind would be of any use. Otherwise, it is useless. It creates its own problem. Our emotions are either positive or negative. That's the whole thing. Intellect and emotions. So emotions, if they are positive, they can take you to the best state. Love, care, compassion, peace. These are all positive emotions. And we all should remain in these positive emotions. But we don't, because we have negative emotions also. Anger, hatred, jealousy, frustration, worry, tension, all these are our negative emotions. Whenever we are into negative emotions, what happens? Yogis have observed. I get angry, what happens to me? My blood pressure will shoot up, my pulse will go fast, my breathing will become shallow, my body will have impurities now because I'm not giving oxygen to my body. Impurity. And this impure blood will go in every organ of my body, altering the function of every organ. And that will create the whole problem. Now, whatever food I have eaten, body should convert that food into energy, but body can't do it because sick, can't handle. So what will happen? Body will store the food or throw the food out. So body will store fat as it is. So either externally we start putting on weight or internally we have atherosclerosis, thickening of arteries or cholesterol going high, triglyceride going high and all that. The root cause of all disease lies in mind. Body stores glucose, so diabetes sets in. See how we are getting affected. Why all this is happening? Because we got angry. We got disturbed. Something happened which we didn't like. So where is the problem? Situation is the problem or something else. There is a famous story of Durvasa. You all must have heard the story of Durvasa. Durvasa was a tapasvi. In our country, we had lots of tapasvi. Tapasvis, they do lots of meditation. They do tapasya to that extent that they have so much of power with them, so much of strength, power. They say and things have to happen, that sort of a thing. But then Durvasa, when he went to Shakuntala, at that time, over there, now you've forgotten the story of Dushyant and Shakuntala. And Shakuntala was busy thinking about Raja Dushyant. And he went there, Pikshan Dehi. And she was busy thinking about her beloved. He was angry. How could she ignore me? Me, Durvasa. How could she ignore? And so he cursed her that you are thinking of somebody, that somebody will forget you. It was quite a great thing, very, very difficult. Of course, the whole story goes, then, then Durvasa realized that what have I done? Why should I get angry? Now such a tapasvi also can get angry. So then what he does is, then he goes to jungle and does meditation, cleansing of mind, yoga does all that to again come to a normal balanced state. Durvasa is known for that. Now if Durvasa can get angry, you and me can in any case get angry. There are situations which will cause anger in us. In one family itself, you will find all the varieties coming together. Have you noticed that? Every human who is born 
इज वन वराइटी हम सब एक एक नमूना है एट दिस वराइटी समबडी कैन गेट एंग्री वेरी इजिली समबडी इज वेरी काम डजेंट स्पीक मच समबडी टॉक्स राउंड अबाउट समबडी प्लेस पॉलिटिक्स समबडी इज नेगेटिव ऑल द टाइम वर्ल्ड इज बैड एवरीथिंग इज बैड नो बडी केयर्स फॉर अस समबडी इज जेलस ऑल सच वराइटीज we are also one variety and we also can get this stuff to deal with all these varieties is not so easy something is required to deal with it otherwise very easily we can get angry we can get hurt we can get disturbed upset tensed but it is going to harm you root cause of all disease lies in mind straight away yoga says why should we get sick we are supposed to remain healthy and old age doesn't mean sickness at all old age is the best age where you don't have worry for running around and do anything earning your livelihood and yeah you can do at your own pace do whatever you want also but no sickness comes in because somewhere we have ignored the signals which your body was giving you you have ignored i am not going to that line we will sometimes talk later on about it i am going back to human mind that it is easy to get angry but what is the root cause of our anger yoga says that it is your kleshas kleshas with which we are born we have these five kleshas with us which which we are born first itself is ignorance ignorance is one major klesha that we are born with we don't even know who you are what we are that is such a strong statement given in yoga sutras the yoga is written in sutra form minimum words exact words and so you don't misinterpret anything you understand as it is these sutras and for avidya sutra is anitya ashuchi dukha anatmasu nitya sukhi sukha atmasu khyatir avidya now that anitya and nitya ashuchi means impure and pure these dualities anitya what is nitya and what is anitya what is permanent and what is impermanent we should know do you think this body is permanent body is also impermanent it's going to go do you think our relations are permanent all these relations you son and daughter and husband and wife and mother and father all these are impermanent they are not permanent and we unfortunately are carrying on but we think they are permanent so we get hurt we get affected we worry and we do all that but that's our ignorance avidya you know we don't even know that what is nitya nitya is our consciousness our soul our atma our consciousness our chaitanyata that is permanent after body goes away still it is there and what is the strength of soul strength is very clear that it has all the knowledge all the energy it knows exactly what's going to happen what's happening and so on that consciousness when we all have we forget that we have all the capacity thus all the knowledge comes from within all the energy comes from within which we don't know and we are running here and there for all the relations and that creates the problem we should know that we can do anything if we want if we are focused if we know what's required we can do it and you will get the direction from within because everything is within so to reach to within we should sit quietly stop worrying stop getting tensed and be p 
peaceful. Be at peace with ourselves. And you will definitely get some signal from inside that here, you have a problem, you will get an answer. I guarantee you that the answer is from within. In the next day morning, you will be told by inner self that do this and you do it. Or maybe I was talking to Ramesh Ji, Ramesh Ahuja, and he was telling me that every day when he sleeps and is in peaceful state, meditates and be, be in a peaceful state. And sleep itself is a very peaceful state. Good sleep is a must. In the morning he gets up and the first thought which comes, he writes it down. And that becomes his direction in life, how to go about. And you all should try that out. That have faith within yourself. You should know what is your capacity. That Hanumanji story you know, that Hanumanji had forgotten his capacity. And then he was told, go to Lanka and Hanuman, and he says, I can't, I can't. And he was made to realize that you can do Hanuman. You can do everything. And he was made to realize, and slowly, slowly he remembered, and slowly, slowly he could understand, and then he had a plunge. He went, what a capacity he had. And all these capacities are given in Yoga Sutra. <coughs> that if you really f develop the focus of your mind, that is dharana, dhyan, and samadhi, you can develop anything. You can do quite a lot. And so, we should focus on permanent and impermanent. We should identify that this impermanent thing hai. <coughs> we should not get so much affected by it. Ashuchi, we call something pure, but everything is impure. Our body is impure. Something which is going to decay is body. It is an impure. <coughs> something which is going to give you pain, you think it is not giving me pain. Because we get pleasure from our relations. Pleasure when somebody behaves very sweetly. When somebody behaves rudely, we get upset. So this level that we have, all these relations are wrong, but we get pleasure. But it is really painful. Something which is not yours, you call it yours. Again, what is yours is consciousness. Your own God. <coughs> Your own <coughs> Chaitanyata. That is yours. Rest is not yours. But we behave like that. So all this is the definition of avidya. That is the first klesha, which we should remove. We should start thinking in that fashion. <coughs> then comes another klesha, and that is asmita, ego. Ego? Do you think there is a place for ego in life? Whenever we are successful, do you think it's only your hard work that you have become successful? You wanted to come here. If on the way, if some car didn't work or some accident occurred or somebody was going to come and you couldn't, you couldn't come here. Since everything was cooperating with you, cordial with you, you could come here. It was clear. Anything you do, it's the cooperation and coordination of the whole thing along, and that makes it successful or failure. There is nothing like failure. Failure is also part on the way of success only. We fail, that means it is wrong. Success, failure is not opposite to success. Don't think like that. Failure is on the way of success. Through failure, we learn. How much we learn through failure, do you know? All the pains and suffering and anxiety, how much we learn. Otherwise, learning would have been very poor. 
So this is part of your growth only. Ego has no place. When person has more money, person has ego. When person has more degree, person feels his ego. I am somebody. And you can see that person, the way in which he walks, the way in which he talks, little more money and his behavior becomes little curt, doesn't want to mix with those who are not at their level. All this is so wrong. We are doing wrong karmas. Why we say don't get angry? Because under the influence of anger, you speak anything, you behave in all these ways. And you are doing a wrong karmas. Finally, we are all bowed of our own karma. Yoga makes it very much clear. <clears throat> Whatever action you do, you have to face the consequences of your action. 100% scientific. As you sow, so shall you reap. Jaisa karoge, vesa bharoge. This though you have heard. But you get unhappy because of somebody that somebody was not up to your level and your behavior was rude. In your life, somebody you will find who would also behave in the same way to you. And you will wonder why people are like that. You should know that we create our own world. We create our own world. And so we should try and see that we create some good world. Let person have less money or more money. That person is human being who is a creation of God. And you should respect that human, love that human, bring that joy with that human. Rather, you should be more humble with that human. And showing off is wrong. Ego has no place. Ego is an outcome of avidya. So please do that. The whole Mahabharat, Duryodhan. Now Duryodhan known for his ego, very strong ego. And when he was told to see that palace, so he went there. And that palace was constructed so beautifully that he couldn't identify which is the land and which is the water. So he was walking to reach to Yudhishthir. And on the way, he felt it's a water. So he lifted his dhoti up, but there was no water. The land was very smooth. So later on, when there was water, he thought it is a smooth land, so he splashed. And Draupadi <coughs> said, Andhe ka beta andha. Now Duryodhan took it very negatively. We can take it very positively also. Keh sakte na haa bhai Draupadi, mera father to andha hai, magar uspe bhoat qualities hai, jo aapko dekhne aani chahiye. Agar kisi ne andha bol diya, if somebody has, why should you feel bad? You feel bad and then you become an enemy and then you want to kill somebody and all this Mahabharat should not have been there. Look at that, Bhishwa Pitama, he took an oath that I will not marry because otherwise my son will claim the throne and I will support that king which is going to be the king of that place. Now these two oaths that he will support and he will not marry. Fine, at that time he took the oath but later on the situations changed. Later on Duryodhan was not listening to him at all. Not at all. He was going against all his advices. So he should not have been there at the time of war. He should have left Duryodhana and come to Pandavas, which he didn't do. His ego, I took an oath. That ego created problem. Otherwise, if Bhishma Putaba was at Pandava with Krishna, war would not have happened at all. Somehow, we sometimes take some decisions in life. Sometimes we speak something. I'm sure husband and wife, how many times they must have spoken. Kya tum se shadi ki? How did I find found you out here? I had so many others. And unfortunately, I, how stupid we talk. What we did, we did at that time according to our own intelligence. We have been given with intelligence. 
now situations are changing, now you have changed, everything has changed, and so you feel regretted. Don't go into past and regret the past. Never do that. Because past can give you messages. You can learn from your past. But live in present. So this ego, somehow, we have to see that we become humble, we become more caring, more compassionate, and not just show our ego. In Mumbai, there was a case when one lady servant, I mean the helpers in the house, she went to a man, the, the boss. He says, sir, my son has finished 12th standard and now he doesn't want to study because I need some support. So he has to earn money. I'm right now though, working in the houses, washing vessels and all that and you are paying me, but I need more. And so please, sir, uh, can you give him some job? Sir says, I have no job. But he says, no, I know that. But you know one friend who has factories. Can you tell him to give a job to my son? This fellow said, no, I don't take anybody's, uh, this what we call as uh, daya. It's like uh, he's giving me some, I don't want to ask for anything. I don't want to ask. You are not asking for yourself, you are asking for servant, but no, no, I don't do that. I will not tell my friend. It was so funny. Asking is the first thing we tell in spirituality to keep your ego down. Come on, you need some help, ask. Why should you feel that I can never ask? What very wrong approach to life. Somehow he also thought, and then next day he phoned his friend that my servant is there and his son is there. And uh, if you have any job, please. Boy is very good, he is sincere. So he says, usko bhej do mere paas, kal. So the boy went there and when he saw the boy, his sincerity was very glad. Usne phone kiya, he phoned, says that I'm glad that boy is good and I'm keeping him for a job. <clears throat> After a week, the lady servant comes with flowers and coconut and puts that in the feet of him and says, sir, you are a god for me because of you. Now my life is much better and smoother. That joy which he got at that time was much superior joy than the joy you get by earning more money or going ahead in a big car or <laughs> doing anything big. It is very, very clear. In Yoga Shastras, they have written, such joy is 16 times more bigger joy when you are useful to others, when you are helpful to others, when you care for others, when you behave sweetly and lovingly with others. That joy is absolutely different than all other material possession joy. And so we should be careful about it. These are all our glaciers. And glaciers bring our, make our life kalushit. That is, make our life totally unhealthy, painful, with full of diseases, suffering, and so on. So that is ego, avidya, asmita. Third is rag. Rag is, means attachment. Do you know how much painful the attachment is? Have you any idea? Raga. Sukha nushai raga. That is a sutra. Anything which gives you sukh, you get attached to that sukh. You want that sukh. And so that is raga. And that is a klesha. That should be removed from your life. Don't be attached. Learn to see things in a detached way. Understand? If I'm so much attached to my child, my son, so when son gets sick, even I will get sick. How am I going to help my son? You are not even doing your duty if you are attached. Bring detachment. A child is sick, then you will be able to handle that child better. Detachment is required in life. And so they say attachment out. There was one man who was not having a good job and he went abroad. 
he got a nice job abroad and he went there and he within 10 years he made lots of money he did some business and it was successful and he made lots of money when he went his wife was pregnant he says that i want to give the best to my child this is a very wrong thinking of every parents that they think that they should give the best to their child parents have worked very hard struggled from nothing they have made everything and then they say we want to give the best that struggle is so important to become matured wo sona tapte 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 wo metal sona banta hai polished hota hai to diamond hota hai that is so important and that children have not done and then they feel they get the money but whatever it is here what happened i give you the story so he went abroad so after 10 years he wanted to come back because the child had become 10 year old and the boy was also very excited at that time all these this is a real story all these mobile and all that easy communication was not there and he comes and uh, from there he takes a flight and he comes and he tells that i am coming this day child was very very excited he says i am going to pick up my father on the way where father was going to stay for a night in a hotel to reach to mumbai so child also from here went he was very smart he went there on the way he met i mean he had some infection of stomach or something and he had a very high fever and he was coughing and sneezing and he also was put up in a hotel luck the father was also in the same hotel but when child was there he was half conscious i mean his consciousness he was little bit in a very poor state so the manager put him the child but he was coughing so badly so badly and he was showing that he is under pain that this rich man who was in the hotel he was hearing that sound he says kon khas raha who is coughing so much so the people said manager said one child has come and he is a little sick so this rich man says i don't care i want to sleep well at night and this boy is creating lots of pain in me he will he won't be able to i won't be able to sleep well i want to be fresh and fine when i meet my child and my wife so what do we do sir remove him out he says remove don't so those people did that next day morning this fellow slept well and got up and then finally he um, was just going out of the hotel and he suddenly asked who was that by what happened to that boy they said that well that boy had something wrong and he died finally he died acha it's okay so many come and go what difference does it he said but then he still inquire from where he had come so he said from that village what was his name and this name was told and he said oh my god my son my son and he died and the pain came when it was his son it was somebody else's son there was no pain somebody else suffered there was no pain but it my son and the pain so that is the whole problem with me and mine and that's what yoga says that please if you are good you should be good to everybody and not to just your people not to just your business and your thing so we have to become free from all these clashes so that is rag another klesha is dvesh something which gives you pain problem you hate it you don't like it father gave more money to one brother of mine and next brother didn't get money and so there is a tension and by you earn your own money why are you dependent on father if father wants to give to somebody let him give in one family the father in bombay i have all the experiences of that father's wife died earlier and then he got married again and the children said 
she you got married now all the money would be shared to her father will give all the money to her and we can't tolerate that so everybody even a children they want nothing else but money from father whole world has become quite materialistic and that is very strong klesha in us i always tell people that if you have earned money na you keep it and in any case let children go through their own ups and downs of life and if they are working hard help them but easy money always creates problem fine so here the case was very clear that trying to see that hatred comparison and all that should stop and finally last place is abhinivesh selfishness love of your own life or fear of death how many fears we have in our life fear fear dar lagta hai maine pucha ek bar class mein in the class how many fears they say hansa ji i i am afraid of cockroach cockroach is my fear well lizard is my fear one family i met where husband has a fear of lizard and wife has a fear of cockroach and they are shouting and howling very often the sound comes from that place fear how do you remove fear so many fears are there we should know that what is opposite fear is faith faith in high reality nobody why should somebody hurt you or harm you if you have not harmed anybody why bring fear instead of fear think stop thinking instead of thinking ye hoga wo hoga future you never know what the future is going to be why can't you take it as an adventure that whatever will be it's like an adventure to me and i'll face it all these years i have faced it i'll face it again somewhere this we have to work on this selfishness of our me my life my everything don't care for others that should never come and so in short these are all five clashes which yoga talks about very strongly that finally we have to overcome all these clashes ashuddhi so there is a sutra ashuddhi kshaye gyan diptir a vivek kyati once these ashuddhis are removed then the knowledge comes then the knowledge comes otherwise it will not come and knowledge once it comes all the pains and sufferings and chaos goes away and we get into vivek khyati our buddhi normal buddhi logic buddhi is one thing when it becomes superior buddhi it is called as vivek buddhi where you can discriminate between consciousness and matter that discrimination comes with that intellect so the problem is always with matter material world if you go to consciousness no problem you can just flow with life situations happen the problems are there anything is there they come and go thought comes and goes tension comes and goes worries come and go where do they stay they come and go why hold on to all these things so today <clears throat> i could just give you a take away because you have to work with yourself and for yourself to yourself so self s e l f these four words you should know s is for smile definitely you can take the tension with smile or with frown when you smile na half of the tension in any case goes away when you smile and be very very gentle and humble with situations quite a lot of problems are gone when there is a tension you can always tension or no tension smile is the first thing you should do look at your mirror and don't see how i look 
just see whether I'm smiling or not. People keep mirror in there to see whether the everything is fine or not. No, see the, your expression. Smile is there or not. And you should be care. S is for smile. Self. E is for exercise. You should be exercising. You should see that your body is active. Choti choti cheese I karo. The moment you wake, wake up, I am giving all these in my YouTube talk. The moment you wake up, what you should do? Just sitting for a long time. Now walk a little bit. Or in the office, you are sitting in front of computer. At least stand. Take one long breath and sit down. I give 20-20 formula. Every 20 minutes, you should change your position. Our mind also works like that. Memory also works like that. Little bit position has to change. If you have this, change. If you are writing with right hand, take a pen and do some round and something with left hand. Because that would help developing your both side of brain. Otherwise, as we grow, our memory also goes down. But if you do something like this, something new, not where you are comfortable, comfort zone se bahar niklo, come out of your comfort zone. All the time, comfort, comfort, very wrong. You should come out of that and do something which is very interesting. A color zi le lo or thoda line hi kar dalo, left hat se, right, both side. In yoga, all the asanas are that simple, simple asana that you are holding your hand from right side and then holding from left. We did this chair asana also. Both the sides we do, not only one side. So we have to use all these things in our life. Better, better. But exercise is a must. Being physically active is a must. And here we should see that this balance has to come. Excessive is Anything in excess is wrong. Too much of exercise, too much of walking. I know when I used to go to Juhu Beach at Mumbai in the early year time, within seven minutes I would take a car, drive up to beach. Within seven minutes I would reach to Juhu Beach from the Yoga Institute. And there I would walk in the morning. And I would see one gentleman who had a factory of pencil, I think so. He was... And he was doing very well in his business. He would walk. Hansaji, Hansaji, fine, walk. From Andheri to Khar Danda, he would be walking on beach. From there, he will come back again. And I heard that he would take three rounds of walking. I asked him, why are you walking so much? He says, I enjoy walking. You enjoy walking, but anything excess is wrong. And then I heard that he had a heart attack and he died very soon. There was another person who was doing running, running. Now he is a gynecologist in our car. Very famous gynec. And he had taken to running. So in the morning he would go for running. But whole day you are just sitting and counseling and talking in your chair. This is not your lifestyle. Running is not your lifestyle. And so you are just sitting, which is so wrong. If your lifestyle was running, then no problem. But he would do that and he had a heart attack right on the road in car and he died. So let's not do anything in excess when it comes to physical movement and all that. Do little, little. Balance life now, middle path. That is better. And then... Self, so exercise, and then L is for learning. We should be learning. From us, we should be learning from others. Others, when they are suffering, learn why we should learn. Learning is very important. Every minute we should be learning. And then finally, F is for friends. Friends. <laughs> Make friendship. Talk to friends. Be with friends. To be friend, friendly, we will be definitely very... Take things positively. If a friend is saying, hey, stupid, what do you do? You don't feel bad. My friend is 
But if somebody else says, your family member also says, you'll tell how dare you can talk like that. Come on, yeah, somebody is your, everybody is your friend and not your enemy. So this self, keep in mind and put this in your life and I'm sure then joy has to come. Ashuddhi gai, kleshas gai, knowledge aya, vivek buddhi aya. So let's work on our self. Okay. Namaste. Wow. As promised, yes, our lives have changed forever. And Guruma, we do have a few questions. We like to questions, ask you. Two questions we want to ask. And uh, as I said, we have the unveiling and you also have Parshat. So please be here with us for the next 10 minutes, ladies and gentlemen. This is very, very special. Today's children are addicted to social media. How can we help them to not compare themselves to others? If I've understood you, today's children are? Again? Social media. Children are all social addicted media. to social media. Mm -hmm. How can we help them? I would tell that children should be put to some physical activity. Either they should learn badminton, table tennis, this and that. And when they are with mobile or with computer, you should sit with them and talk to them. You should, if you are with them, they will not be addicted because in the house also you can play with them some games should be there with which you should play with them and you can manage it's not and don't worry these are all temporary phases once they become little responsible they will not do it uh, i'm going to take one more question ladies and gentlemen please be here with us we do have a surprise for all of you i want to be like you where do <laughs> i begin you want to i've given you formula no self just follow that you see, uh, life should be lived for others, not for self. For self, you need very little time. Little organized life and you will be able to manage. But whole time should be for others. Help others, take care of others, whatever you are good in, try to give that. Whatever you are weak, learn. All these things should happen. So I think so. We'll take only one last question. This is very interesting. How to help people who refuse help. My husband refuses to learn yoga. Don't be after your husband, yaar. What are you doing? Piche pad gaya ho husband ke. You live yoga way of life. You show how you can maintain balance when he is worrying. You show how you are taking charge of your food habits. And that effect would be there. It's a have patience, slow and steady. That would be better. Don't force anybody that do yoga. They will start hating yoga and tell you, get out. <laughs> you better go and stay with Hansa Ji huh? or Sanghita Ji. <laughs> no. Yeah. The Chanakya has mentioned is very clearly that first five years of your life, you are protecting your child. From five to maximum 15 years, you are teaching your child what is right, what is wrong. This is how you should wash your hand. This is how you should take bath. And child, saam daam dandabet, kabhi pyaar se, kabhi jara firm hoke, kabhi barter system, you do this for me, I'll do this for you. These are all ways in which you make child understand. But after 15, he is your friend. Friend. Sub grown up bache are friends of parents. They are friends. Create that friendliness with them. And that would help everybody. So try and do that. Beautiful souls, uh, please may I request you all to give a huge roar of applause from deep within your heart and soul. We do have lots of questions. We'll present your questions to Dr. Hansaji. Tomorrow, the 12th and 13th, Hansaji is with us at the Institute. Feel free to come and raise your questions. And now for the grand unveiling, this is one of the dreams fulfilled of Sangeeta Ji. I said three dreams. So we have the unveiling. Please join us as we're going to also Please welcome Madam Excellency, you're on stage once again, and request Dr. Rashmi Supriya, Dr. Hima Alais to kindly join our very own founder, Sangeeta Ji Ahuja, here on stage. Ladies and gentlemen, this is by Baptist University and Ayurveda. It's a blood test program, and let me tell you, this is something which we always believe prevention is better than cure. By just going ahead for your blood test and, of course, getting free yoga for six months, you can truly get to know which disease is expected, what is 
the sign given by the body and how can you cure it. So this is absolutely a miracle and this is exactly what Sangeeta ji dreamt of. Her dream is fulfilled, so we're going to have the grand unveiling here. We're truly thankful to Dr. Rashmi Supriya and Dr. Hima Elias. And I'm going to please request, one second, sorry. Ma'am, yes, please in the center. I just wanted to make sure. So my lovely family, thank you. So, Dr. Hansaj Ji, shall you do the unwheeling at the countdown of three? Please join me. Three, everybody. Two, anyone? One, heartfelt congratulations. This is very, very special. Dear friends, as we present, well, for the very first time, a project, research project, Yes, HK1, which is six months of free yoga, pre and post blood test, which shall actually get to know that what is your body prone to the disease in the future. But let me tell you, they've already surveyed this YES program and over 50% of reduction in the mental issues, but the validation is still under the process. So, heartfelt congratulations. And do or sapne the, our very own Sangeeta GK. And this is something very special where our lovely 25 volunteers get to truly witness this beautiful divine yoga, the classic and authentic yoga by our very own Life Management Yoga Center. And Devi and Sajano, this is very, very special as only those two beautiful 25 souls get this opportunity to be a part of this. So introducing Yog and Ayurveda, this is very, very special. So heartfelt congratulations to Sangeeta Ji. And Ramesh Ji as well, our co-founder, congratulations. And your Tisra dream hai, that of course will be mentioned by Sangeeta Ji herself. This is such a beautiful moment. I'm going to please request Hansa Ji to be with us here on stage. We're going to have a photo opportunity with everyone who wants one. But for now, Sangeeta Ji, thank you. As the celebration is happening, life is happening too. The storms, the typhoons, as the scenes of the skits were changing, I reflect back on my life. I was born in lineage of Ayurveda family, grew up in the spiritual atmosphere, studied in the school of Sadhu Aswani. That had a big impact in my life. At 20, I started practicing yoga, but at the physical level, which we all do. At the age of 37, I reached to the Yoga Institute, and that one-week residential camp transformed my life. And the education which I received, no college, no school imparts that knowledge. And I had the urge that this knowledge should be shared with everyone. And I was lucky enough in Hong Kong to find my lovely friends who were very ready to learn. And I must salute to all my friends. And the time has flied. Today we are celebrating 25th year. My ongoing passion that this yoga education must be going to schools and universities and nature introduced us to Dr. Rashmiji. Ayurveda has been very close to my heart. For a few years, I looked around if there's any possibility of Ayurveda set up in Hong Kong. And recently, we found Dr. Hima Arya as an expansion. Ayurveda and yoga, they are very parallel sciences together. together. And yoga is culture of consciousness, as Ma mentioned. It's not limited to physical exercises but is about living and is the process of being to non-being to reaching to the Kaivalya state which is specified in the Yoga Sutras. Having self-mastery 
and having the higher consciousness, reaching to the higher consciousness, the sat, the chit, the ananda, the what we are. As Ma mentioned, we must be always connected to sat, chit, ananda. With the yoga knowledge, as I'm studying deeply the yoga knowledge, I had the strong urge that there should be movie made from the yoga because this yoga has to go to the world. And the movie should be into every language of the world. And you all know the miracle, our star, where is she, our star, Simran, Ahuja. We found the star. So we are very happy that we have a star with us. And uh, Ma said, yes, we will do the movie. So we are looking forward for the movie on yoga with the Yoga Institute and with our star. And we are so honored to have you, Simran, with us. And my Julie, no words. Humble gratitude with folded hands. This is such a huge honor for me. Thank you so much for the beautiful, beauteous blessings. Thank you, Hong Kong. Couldn't have been better than this. I want to please now request Ramesh Ji, a co-founder also, to please join here. Join us here. Oh, my God. Please, the co-founder to be here with us. This is... Oh, my God. This was not... This was not... Yes, ladies and gentlemen, I'm truly thankful to Hong Kong. On the 24th of this month, September, my movie which name is also Simran, is releasing. We do have the associate producer here with us, Ajit Kepuriji, as well. So please do come and watch it on the 24th of September, which has done rounds across the world. So this is absolutely fantastic. And Hansa, ma'am, it's because of you. Thank you so much. Sangeeta ji, no. I still have to come across such beautiful souls. <laughs> We're all spiritual souls, so thank you. Thank you, Hong Kong. Thank I thank all of you present here, all the dignitaries, our smiling ambassador, Hansa ji, our high excellency, Satwan Kanalia ji, and all the volunteers, our print plus group, Deepa ji, Nirja ji, and I can't enough thank all of you. I'm honored with all your presence. And today my heart wants to sing for my Guru Ma, for my mother India, Ma tujhe salam, ma tujhe salam. Vande mataram, vande mataram. LMYC's existence is blessings of our Guru Ma. We salute to the Yoga Institute for their presence in our life and beautifying Hong Kong and the world the global world, one family, one world, one future. Thank you all. And I'm grateful to each and every one. I am grateful. I am grateful. Grati I, gratitude before me. Gratitude behind me. Gratitude to the left of me. Gratitude to the right of me. Gratitude above me. Gratitude below me. Gratitude within me. Gratitude all around me. I'm so grateful. 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 Gratitude to the left of me. Gratitude to the right of me. Gratitude to the me. Gratitude to the me. Gratitude within me, gratitude all around me. I'm so, so grateful. grateful. I'm so 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 grateful. I'm so.
that beautiful arena of realizing that we are so fortunate to be here. Friends, we do have a lot of questions and we apologize for being unable to take your questions today. But tomorrow the 12th and day after tomorrow the 13th, please kindly join us as we do have the meeting on Tuesday and Wednesday. Tuesday 6.45 to 8 p.m. and Wednesday 6.45 to 8 p.m. Well, please do take the address and do connect with us at our institute. It's at Kimberley Road, opposite Kimberley Hotel on Tuesday and on Wednesday. Please feel free to join us at Sadhu Vaswani Center, Hong Kong. And now we are open for the photo ops. Yes, we do know that we do have the bus time. I'm going to thank everybody who's present here with us. But at first, ladies and gentlemen, a huge roar of applause for Your Excellency, ma'am, for giving us your valuable time and your presence. And ladies and gentlemen, the beautiful moment just baat ka hum sab sapna dekh rahe the to have a photo op with Hansa ji. Tomorrow is at Life Management Yoga Center and day of tomorrow is at Sadhu Vaswani Center on the Chatham Road. Please do come. Thank you all. We're now open for the photo ops. Meanwhile, I'm going to truly thank everybody from A to Z who's been a part of this beautiful and wondrous celebration. I'm going to please request our VIPs to kindly join us here. A humble thanks once again, ladies and gentlemen. Please put your hands together for Your Excellency, ma'am. Your Excellency, ma'am. Thank you so much from the bottom of our hearts, ladies and gentlemen. Please, let's welcome our esteemed dignitaries and request them to join us here. I'm going to please request Mr. Rajesh Bhim Saryaji, Mr. Raju Sapnani Ji, Mr. Sohan Goenka, sir. Sohan Goenka, sir, please. Lal Hardasani Ji, to kindly join us here on stage, ladies and gentlemen. And of course, truly thankful to Her Excellency, Miss Satwant Khanalia, ma'am, for being here with us. And of course, I take this wondrous opportunity of requesting you all to kindly take a look at the books. We do have all the books back behind at the stalls. Do collect your parshad. Now, these books are only for reference. You can take a look. And of course, you can book them and order them on Amazon. You'll get all the books on Amazon. The books and today, Beautiful evening will change your life forever. Friends, please do join us on our social media pages as I've already mentioned and requested you all to kindly hashtag us. Please do remember to hashtag. Friends, this is a very, very special moment for us. We do have the address for tomorrow and day after as well behind. So thank you so much. And of course, before we leave, please ensure that you collect your Prasad goodie bag, which is as a love, a token of love on the occasion of the wondrous 25th anniversary of completion and this is still the beginning of the celebration. Please, Sohanji and our dignitaries, please proceed further. Sohanji, please, Ajay, center stage. Well, friends, for the Tung Chung residents, please note that buses will leave at 9.30 p.m. promptly and I'm going to please request all our association heads to be with us here on stage for the group photo op and please, Your Excellency, ma'am, if you have just a few more minutes, I'm going to request Rameshji, if it's possible, to kindly join us here on stage. And Ranuji, I'm going to once again welcome you here as well. And now, ladies and gentlemen, this is a very, very special moment as I'm going to please thank everyone for being here with us for the chair yoga and Om chanting. Thank you very much to Sabina K. Mlani, Echo Gan, Kale Wong, LMYC Honor Teachers. Thank you. Please go ahead with your photo ops, friends, ladies and gentlemen. For the dance, thank you very much to He Rifung, 
Hitesh Amarnani. For the singing bowl, thank you very much to Betty Lau. For the drama, Paresh Neyati, Rachna Joshi, Radhu Vishnu, Rashmi Arora, Aditya Kumar, Deeraj Gupta, Neeraj Mahajan, Gauri Neyati, Siddharth Patke. And for inquiries, we are truly thankful to Mrs. Madhu Hardasani. For the Chinese promo, Ning Laiyan, Cherry. The social media support, Mrs. Monica Sital and Mr. Ajit Kherpuriji. Thank you for the sound and lights. Sanjay Bakshani, Mrs. Suraj Hemnani, VJ LED Visuals. Our technical support, thank you to Monette Lozano. Yes, HK1 Project. Dr.